minute maths. In this particular video, we're going to look at introducing you to the whole concept, the whole idea of CERT. It's the first video in the playlist and there's plenty more examples of exam questions that you might want to have a look at and try for yourself. You can also visit mathsrap.co.uk and that'll give you uh, some worksheets you can download and try. So the first thing that we need to do is ask ourselves what a CERT actually is. Well, basically a CERT is all about describing something much more accurately. So for instance, let's say we have a square and it's a perfect square it's a really really nice perfect square not as good as I've drawn it but a bit more perfect than that um, and this is 14 and we'll call it centimeters squared well that's okay now if you work that out on a calculator it means that the sides of this square are some really long number which is 3.741 uh, six five seven six five seven three eight seven dot 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 and you can go on a little bit further than that it's not good enough okay in order to describe the square sides accurately what we say is that they are root 14 okay and increasingly we're starting to use a lot more accuracy in the way that we do our maths okay so I'm going to give you two rules that you need to remember when you're working with certs and these will help you in all of the exam questions that you're going to be uh, coming across okay the first one is this one uh, which is the root oops that's not rig is it uh, the root of a b equals the same as the root of a multiplied by the root of b okay so an example of that let's say you've got something like you're asked to get the square root of eight okay well the square root of eight is exactly the same as saying the square root of four multiplied by the square root of two what's the square root of four it's two okay so we can rewrite the square root of 8 as 2, which is the square root of 4, times root 2. Remember the accuracy. We can't get any more accurate than root 2. So the square root of 8 is exactly the same as 2 root 2. Okay, so that's the first rule that you need to remember, and you're going to come across that in a lot of your exams. The second one that you need to remember is the square root of a fraction is the same as saying the square root of the top bit, which is the numerator, divided by the bottom bit, which is the denominator. Okay, so let me give you an example of that. And let's say that at the top, we're going to have the square root of 8. That's my three minutes up, so I'm going to overrun just by a couple of seconds. Okay, so it's going to be at the top, let's say we're asked to get the root of 3 over 25 well that's going to be the same as the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 25 again think about the accuracy square root of 3 can't get any better than that so i'm going to leave it as the square root of 3 and at the bottom the square root of 25 is 5 okay so that will answer those two questions those are the two rules that you need to remember i hope that's been okay this has been three minute maths <laughs> please do subscribe to the site and i look forward to seeing you inside the next video